Hi everyone, I'm Matt Karst with Rainbow and today we have Jeff Hafner with us again. Jeff works in our municipal division at Rainbow, specializing in helping cities manage their urban forest for Emerald Ash Borer. Thanks for joining me again today, Jeff. It's great to be back, Matt. So you and I have spent some time discussing how people benefit from trees and why ash tree protection is such a good idea, but we haven't spent a whole lot of time talking about how EAB actually kills an ash tree. So how do such big trees succumb to such a small insect? Well, those small insects do big damage by their sheer numbers. The adult emerald ash borer lays its eggs on the bark of the tree in early summer, and the baby larvae that hatch from those eggs chew into the tree and begin feeding on the layer of tissue right below the bark. Isn't that the area that allows for the tree to transport water and nutrients? Yes, and maybe it helps to imagine a bunch of tiny straws running up and down the tree from the roots to the leaves. Those straws are carrying water up and food down, and they only function when they are fully intact. The feeding larvae of the emerald ash borer chew through those straws as they eat their way to maturity. But during low levels of infestation, a tree can tolerate a small amount of damage, but since EAB have no natural predators in North America, they multiply very fast. Their rapidly expanding populations eventually cause so much damage below the bark that the tree can no longer sustain itself. So is that a process that happens in one season or over multiple seasons? It typically happens over multiple seasons. The young larvae feed under the bark until they are big enough to pupate, and when they are ready to emerge as adults, they chew their way out of the tree and fly around to mate, lay eggs, and repeat the cycle. Since most of that damage is happening below the bark, how can all of the tree owners look for evidence that their tree is under attack then? Well, that can be very difficult, and that really contributes to the difficulty in managing this pest. But as damage builds up under the bark, the larval interruption to those tissues begins to restrict canopy growth. That restricted canopy growth may start to look like areas of thinning or entirely dead sections. So is evaluating the tree's canopy the only way to look for signs of an EAB attack? Well, luckily there is another way to look for evidence of an EAB attack. Woodpeckers are good larva hunters and they're determined to extract those larvae for a meal. So a woodpecker's process of repeated pecking chips off the darker outer ash bark, leaving the lighter inner bark exposed. This blonding, as it's called, can be visible during the fall and winter months when there is no canopy to assess. Increased woodpecker activity on an ash tree is a likely indication of an EAB infestation. Well, you've definitely given tree owners some great information on what to look for when evaluating their ash trees. Should they wait until they start seeing evidence of an infestation before deciding whether or not they want to treat their tree? No, not if it's a tree that they would like to protect. Waiting to see damage in the canopy means waiting until damage has built up under the bark. And the protective measures utilized to save ash trees really relies on healthy tissues. So excessive damage under the bark reduces the effectiveness of the treatment. So if you have an ash tree you want to protect, don't wait until you see damage because it may be too late. But if you have any questions about whether your tree is a good candidate or not, you should contact a qualified arborist and they can help make the best decision for you and your trees. That is great advice. Uh, thank you again, Jeff, for taking the time out of your day to talk with me. And I hope a lot of people found this information valuable. And if you did, please like, comment, and share this video and follow our Facebook page to stay on top of all this great information we're putting out. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Matt.